Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a showcase, guys, on the first church of Springfield. Now, if you guys ever watched the series or the episodes called The Simpsons, as you see right here, guys, they had this awesome, cool church, and I just want to make an exact replica of this build. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys, I used these images to kind of give me a rough idea how the build looked. It was pretty tough because there wasn't a lot of details as far as the interior was, but I kind of roughed it out, guys, and I made the best build I could possibly make in Minecraft using these specs right here to kind of give me an idea how the interior was, how the exterior was, and just kind of give me a general idea how to really make this happen. Now, I ain't gonna lie, guys, it was a super challenge, but I loved it. Had to improvise a lot, but I think you guys are gonna love the stuff I put inside of it because I want to not only have this a theme, but make this fully functional as well. Have this bad boy looking amazing inside and out. And I'm super proud of myself. I love it. It actually came out way better than I expected. And it was just so much fun doing it. Look at that. That thing just looks phenomenal. I loved it. Now, over here, guys, you definitely have the bulletin board right here on the side where they kind of show you of all the events that are happening. And then you kind of notice they had it in those kind of color formations. Now, we're going to go right inside. I had this really cool, really tall piston door. And inside, guys, you could clearly see I had to improvise a lot and add a lot of cool things that wasn't really showed in any pictures. Now, as you come to the right, guys, we're going to explain little by little what each part does. And what we have here is a nice little library. It'll be phenomenal to have like a nice little study hall, little library here. I thought it would just look so cool in this one section. And of course, we have to make this functional, so I even added an enchantment room to really make this happen. Now, as you go upstairs, guys, added some pretty cool touches. That's really this section right over here in the front of the building. You guys don't have no idea where that is. But I wanted to utilize that space and have this as a spot where people will get married, etc., and have special events here. And quite frankly, I thought it was just a nice little isolated spot that just looked beautiful with the stained glass and everything. And you come over here, say your vows, I do, I do. And voila, magic happens. So that will be like a really just perfect area just for that alone. It just looks beautiful. I love it. Now, as you come further up, guys, I even made this for a spot for like the priests or, you know, whoever is running the church to have a nice little studio right up here in this nice little spot. Got an awesome bedroom set there. Like I said, it's a beautiful studio. You got your little kitchen area, your bathroom. Look at that. Got this amazing painting. Let me see if I can show you guys right here on the side. Look at that. Not for nothing, I'm using a texture pack, which I'll put in the description, but it is really cool. I love it. It just it really highlights a lot of stuff. Now, as you go right back down to the main entrance on the left hand side, what I added was the school area, a nice little learning area. You know, the Bible studies, whatever the case is, you have this nice little spot here where you can learn things, have an awesome teacher for arts and crafts, whatever the occasion is, you kind of have this right there. Because I generally see that in certain churches, they'll have like a nice little learning area for the students, or, you know, they're having a little meeting little powwow it's all right there now as you go right here in the back of course we need a boys and girls bathroom didn't do nothing too crazy kind of replicated the same design on both ends look at that not too shabby and it kind of came out pretty cool and of course guys for the staff you need a nice little office area gotta have your little coffee maker on the left hand side because you know and we have some computers right there and a nice little kitchen area, which is A plus to me, you know? Now, the main theme of this whole thing is the church itself. So I wanted to go inside and, like I said, base it on the pictures that I used. And as you come in, you have this grand entrance. You have this beautiful high ceilings. And the stained glass really just... I was really surprised. I didn't think the stained glass in this kind of color formation would look great, but it came out way better than I expected. 
just looks top notch. And I kind of based it solely on this picture alone. So this picture really helped me out with as far as setting this whole thing up. And I try to replicate it as best I can. And quite frankly, it came out way better than I thought. I mean, I try to improvise and add as much detail as possible and really take it to that next level. And of course, in the back here, you have the chairs there on the side. So you have your chorus. And of course, the priest will come here, say, you know, do what they do. And it'll just be just a spiritual experience. <laughs> So as you're coming in, guys, I don't know if you guys notice, we have this awesome little area where you have pamphlets and stuff like that on. And over here, are some stairs going down. I thought it'd be a great way to utilize that and have that as an office area for the priest and the church itself. So if you want to conduct some business, set up a wedding, set up an event, you know, things of that nature, a baptism, whatever the case is, you go down here, talk to the priest one-to-one, -one, and that little privacy is just top notch <laughs> anyway i really had fun making this this was really challenging and i just loved it because something completely different and let me know what you guys think in the comments i had tons of fun making this if you have any requests let me know i'd love to know what you guys really think about this anyway i want to thank everybody for watching remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join thank you